Thank you, Jam. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's up, the Jam? Good to be here tonight with you guys. Um, got some new shit, I guess. Um, woo! Hashtag. <laughs> um, my buddy gave me some CBD. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like weed, but not weed. It's like the O'Doovels of weed. <laughs> oh, do it's like weed, psych. <laughs> Experts say, actually, if you get too high to smoke a CBD cigarette. All I'm saying is, is if someone hands you some rolled up green shit, you better ask what's in it, because it might make you not high. Anyways, what else? Um, I bought weed legally and illegally, which I, th I think is actually really cool. Can we give it up for legal weed, honestly? Yeah. Like, really cool. I remember the first time I went to a dispensary. It was, it was awesome. It's like a candy store for weed, you know? It's the best. Um, I was with some of my friends, and they come up, and they're like, whoa, everything is so expensive. I'm like, I was having so much fun, I didn't look at any of the prices yet. Um, so I look to my right at a case labeled small quantity flowers, which is just a fancy way to say dime bag. <laughs> <laughs> this dispensary sold dime bags for $18, right? $18. But I'm like, that's less than what I paid in middle school. <laughs> and back then, I was getting a spice cabinet medley, maybe some shake if I was lucky, and the fear of going to juvie for this. <laughs> I like buying it legally way better. <laughs> Fuck buying weed in middle school. <laughs> Fuck middle schoolers, dude. Fuck teenagers. <laughs> Fuck teenagers! <laughs> uh, I, I went to my aunt's house this summer. I go to my aunt's house every summer. Uh, they live in San Diego. It's really nice there. But my, my little cousin is kind of becoming a piece of shit. Hey, look, real shit. Every, everyone has their piece of shit phase. Yes. We all got to go through it. <laughs> I was hanging out in the guest room watching TV, <laughs> and he walks in, and he goes, hey, ew, the TV isn't in HD. <laughs> I'm like, because I'm not watching this program in the highest possible setting, that's gross to you? It's gross to me that you just came in here on your break from jacking off and eating sandwiches. <laughs> That's gross to me, fucker. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't really like hanging out that much with my friends, like, for too long, I guess. I was at my buddy's house the other day, and I grabbed my keys to go, and he goes, you can stay as long as you want. And I'm like, Thanks, I already did. <laughs> I'll do this one. Um, a lot of people think I'm a lesbian because of how I dress, but I'm just really lazy and I'm bad at being slutty. <laughs> my, <laughs> my friend had this Hawaiian party in high school and all the girls were showing up in their bikinis and their coconut bras. <laughs> and I have on my dad's Hawaiian shirt with no pants on. <laughs> that was me trying to be a slut. <laughs> no, it just looked like I got too drunk and lost my pants. <laughs> but the, the best part about that night, I end up staying the night and I find out in the morning that my math teacher is neighbors with my friend. But I got an A that year, so it's cool. Um, 
Hey, thank you guys so much. Woo! Tip your fucking bartender. <laughs> also, I'm Mia Moore Comedy on Instagram if you want to give me a follow. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jam. Y'all keep it going for Mia Moore. One more time on the mic, y'all.